Welcome. I know it's been a long time since I've been on YouTube. Thank you guys for your patience. It was because I was in New Mexico, Santa Fe, New Mexico, filming for The Biggest Loser. But now I'm back, back in fitness culture, back with the Vanilla Gorilla. First time in nine weeks that I have been in this gym. It's insane, I've missed this place so much. And today, we're gonna be taking you guys through a workout on our functional program. So when I say our functional program, Fitness Culture, our app, it is a program that we designed on there. It's nice because it's, it's a lot of volume, but we, doing, we do a lot of functional movements. We do Metcons in this, you know, we do a lot of supersets, a lot of volume, and you know, it's one of those things that I really like working on, especially if I don't have a specific goal. I think this is our best all-around program for just staying fit. Like if you wanna just be real fit, this is a great program for those people. So we're gonna be doing a day one, which is some German volume training actually, and then we're gonna get into all sorts of fun things. So we're gonna warm up right now, and then we're gonna hop into incline bench, German volume training, pull-ups. Let's get after it. Okay guys, one thing we always do, even if we don't show it on YouTube, one thing we always do is an active warm up. And the reason we do that, we just don't jump into lifting, we don't jump into our sets. A lot of people, especially myself, growing up bodybuilding, if I was working on bench press, I'd just do bench press. But a lot of other muscles we're gonna be working today, so we do a full active warm up every time we lift. We're gonna go through that real quick. We might even speed it up. to our first two exercises. Now we're German volume training this first week. 55% of your single rep incline max. And if you need to do a calculator on that, you don't necessarily have to max out on this, but have an idea of what you can do, then be working off 55%. What we're gonna be doing, six sets of 10. So it's kind of a modified German volume training. After you do incline bench, minute rest, and then we have our pull-up. So we'll be doing six sets of 10 on each. Bench, minute rest, pull up, minute rest. Bench, minute rest, all the way up, six sets, 10 reps, really shoot for 10 reps. So it's one of those things that uh, these first couple reps might seem light to you, but by the end of it, you will be struggling with it. Pull ups, obviously, go to where you feel like if you're, if you're getting 10, 10 reps easy the whole time, add weight, change up the grip. One of my favorite things to do, I'll go wide, I'll go narrow, neutral, behind the neck, just change up those pull ups add weight even. So we're gonna hop into it right now. Make sure you guys find out your 55% of one rep max. First I'm gonna do wide grip pull up. Three seconds on the eccentric. You guys can sub in lap pull down for this if you need to. If you don't have a pull up or if you're not strong enough to do body weight pull ups, sub in a lap pull down. Three seconds, zero at the, you know, so I'm gonna go three seconds up, zero, one second on the way down, zero at the bottom. So. It's gonna go relatively quick, but again, it's gonna take you, if you do 10 reps, three to four seconds each rep, it's gonna take you 30 to 40 seconds to get this done. Three seconds. Woo. All right, look at the clock. Minute on that clock. Whether it's your phone or whether you're watching the clock on the wall, make sure you're sticking to a minute. We might, might be talking here. Make sure you stick to a minute. So 55% of my one rep max, 185. I stick with this weight the whole time unless I'm not staying true to that tempo and I can't get 10 reps. So if I have to speed it up, I'm gonna drop. What we want here, 10 solid reps with that tempo that we've talked about. Three seconds on the way down. Go. 
as those reps get higher, you get closer to 10, you're gonna wanna speed up your tempo. Make sure you stick with that three seconds down. Have your partner count. Here we go, set number two. Oh, three seconds is so long. You know, it's one of my one of my favorite parts about being back from Santa Fe is having full access to my closet. I just packed a suitcase. I was there for nine weeks. You guys notice I haven't worn these. I don't know if I've ever worn these on YouTube. Keep it matching the shirt. The shirt, if you guys are wondering, I bought it in Germany from Diesel, the Diesel store. Grip here, we're going. I would say ring fingers right on that first gnarling right there. motivation having your girlfriend train next to you beating beating your pull-ups she definitely beat me in a handstand <sighs> set number three on here we'll be halfway afterwards and when you guys really take advantage of three seconds, all real three seconds. Six, six sets is brutal. Absolutely brutal. One, two, three. three. All right, for these last three sets, some pull ups, some go neutral grip here. Neutral grip, it's a little bit easier. Now the reason that we are only taking a minute rest is because we're working opposite muscle groups. A lot of chest, little anterior delts and tricep on the bench press. And then obviously the back, backs, posterior delt, and biceps. So as one's resting, one's working. So really if you're thinking about it, it's closer to, you know, 90 to even 100 seconds. But now I'm just talking so I can have more rest. Last set, best set. It's been a long time since I've said that. Last set, best set on pull ups here. Fell miserably on that tent. So, after our German volume training, switching it up a little bit, single arm. Dumbbell press here. So neutral grip, making sure we keep it nice and close to the body all the way down, all the way up. We're going 10 reps, followed up by a superset, 10 reps on the dumbbell bat week row. So 10, eight, six, superset, two minutes rest in between. <sighs> Let's get started. On this, there's no special tempo, but there will be on the bat week row. We go bench, straight to here, then rest two minutes. Then we got eight reps, eight reps, six reps, six reps.
on our fitness culture, nutrition side of things. In order to gain weight, 95 fat, 456 carbs, 216 protein. Now the reason the proteins come down is because carbs are protein sparing. So I'm almost getting 456 grams of carbs. Today's gonna be a high carb day for me. And I'm gonna be back down around 350. All right, moving on to our first tricep. Got a good pump today. Feels good to be back in fitness culture. That's all I gotta say. We got a behind the neck seated press. We're gonna be doing these with the Smith machine today. If you don't have a Smith machine, feel free to do them just with a barbell standing or seated. 10, eight, six. But we're also supersetting. So 10 sets there. Then we're going a neutral grip, lat pull down all the way to that sternum. We're gonna show you that. Then we're gonna follow that up by a dumbbell, double arm, upright row. So that's gonna be a little bit of our posterior delts there, some trap. First things first though, behind the neck press, 10, 10 reps. Straight into neutral grip, pull down. Two minutes rest. Ooh. Last tricep we got today, it's a cable two-way chest fly. Jake's demonstrating the first position here. 15 reps there. Once he hits 15 reps there, we're gonna change up the position. So we got three sets of 30 reps essentially. 15 here, and then 15 in position number two. Tempo is one second negative, one se second concentric, one second hold at the top, and then two second hold at the bottom. Position number two is gonna be a low to high. So 15, 15. This one, this one will actually absolutely blow up the chest. A lot of volume today. Nice. So I'm gonna start in this position. 15 reps. So it's one second, two seconds. One. One, two, one, one. Following chest, we got cable YTA, so. Y is just gonna look like what you think when you say Y. It's coming straight up. You can see my arms create that Y. We have 10 reps here. Three, four. You wanna retract that back first. Five, ten. So that's 10 reps there. Then we have T, straight out to the side. One, two, three, four, eight, five, ten. Definitely wanna do these light. It's 30 reps total here, 10 each way. Last one's A. Woo! That is a proper cable YTA. Next up, cable crossover lateral raise. Last exercise before we get into our conditioning for the day, which will be another video. We have cable, Crossover for lateral raises here. Cable crossover lateral raises. That's a mouthful. 15 reps here. Ah! Woo! 
That's a super set. Or that's a tri set. That's the last tri set. So we're gonna got two more rounds of each thing here. And then we're gonna jump in and do some conditioning. But if you guys can find out more about this program, click the link in the bio. It's gonna take you to the Fitness Culture website. Jake's showing you all so you can do them behind your back if you're talented. First workout back in fitness culture over nine weeks. It's nice to move around some weight. I'm gonna be so freaking sore tomorrow. Traps, shoulders, chest, back. It's an absolute exhausting when it comes to volume. So let me know how this goes. Leave a comment below. You guys can always check out more of our programs or if you guys wanna download this program, click the link in the bio. And hey, welcome back. Welcome back to Fitness Culture. Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be putting up a lot more videos. I'm gonna take all of that time and energy that I was doing with Biggest Loser, put it back into my training, which means more YouTube content, more Instagram content. Let's go. See you guys next time.